family is pushing for patients to have some guarantees so they'll know they won't be alone. Their struggle could lead to changes in our state law. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland live in Raleigh for us tonight. Michael, it's something that a lot of families have had to deal with, unfortunately. Especially when the pandemic started, hospitals had some really strict protocols in place trying to limit the spread of COVID-19. But some bills moving through the legislature would guarantee certain visitors could get in. The end of really life for my dad. Joanna Rigg knew her dad, Jeff, would not survive. We had to really fight to get in to see him. My mom actually did the fighting for us as family to see him. Last May, Jeff Rigg was hit by a truck at his house. As the days went on in the hospital, his family knew it was time to say goodbye. But they also wanted his beloved pastor to come in to pray for him in those final moments. Not having that for us was just kind of a missing piece and knowing how important that was to my dad. Their story got the attention of state lawmakers. This week, the Senate unanimously passed a bill called the Jeff Rigg Law. Law that's awaiting Governor Roy Cooper's signature. It would require hospitals to allow a clergy member in if a patient wants that. And offer that support that that you honestly don't know you need till you need it. Jason Little is the lead pastor at Faith Baptist Church in Nightdale. He's tried to help other families facing the same challenge. Just like they're receiving physical care and uh, attention in perhaps those last days or hours of life, we believe, I believe that spiritual care in those moments is vital as well. The North Carolina Healthcare Association, which represents the state's hospitals, did not support the bill. While clergy would have to pass health screenings to get in, they're concerned it doesn't give hospitals the flexibility to protect people in extenuating circumstances. A a different bill called the No Patient Left Alone Act is still pending. It guarantees visitation rights for patients, but also says if hospitals have to close off visitation, they have to develop alternatives to the greatest extent safely possible. The opportunity for other people to not have to walk through what we did alone. State lawmakers are still debating that second bill. The Department of Health and Human Services is raising concerns about state leaders still being able to act in case of an emergency. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thanks very much. A medical center in the Piedmont brought an extra space for their morgue after a COVID-19 outbreak.